This school doesn't teach snorkeling 101. They train students to become professional divers for the toughest underwater jobs. Like constructing and maintaining high sea oil platforms, repairing and building dams and bridges, or salvaging old shipwrecks. No underwater task is off limits for these divers. Adam Alashuk is one of their top students. Today is a big day for Adam. He's been training seven months for this moment, the final exam that will determine if he's got what it takes to be a professional diver. Adam is about to go through a simulation that will put all his skills to the test. This is a life and death scenario. So like life, failure is not an option. When you're in this industry, you only get one chance when you're down there. So you got to be on top of your game. You got to make sure you know what you're doing. Everybody has to do this before they graduate. And uh, Adam Lashuk absolutely has to go through this today. Adam will have to rescue a fellow diver trapped underwater with a faulty umbilical cord, the hose that supplies divers with oxygen. The trapped diver can rely on a limited backup air tank, but rescue divers are standing by just in case. All right. Left surface, mark time. Adam needs to be prepared for dramatic situations like this one. They're part of the life of a professional diver. Project time starts now. Adam jumps in and makes his way toward the trapped diver. This absolutely is a timed event. If he doesn't get it done in time, that diver's going to run out of air and it's going to be bad business. Two minutes have passed, and Adam is getting ready to swap the umbilical oxygen supply. He will disconnect the other diver's air hose. That diver will have no air except for the air that the diver is carrying on their back, and he will actually connect a new umbilical hose to be able to get the diver from being untrapped and bring them to the surface safely. Adam now replaces the faulty air hose. Poor visibility makes this difficult. Shackling in the new rescue and door He fumbles, trying to hook up the valves. Understand. But finally, he succeeds. The old umbilical. Old umbilical is free and clear to surface. Go ahead and take up on the old umbilical. Hold that straight out and let's get a purge on it. That's the faulty umbilical, that's the old one. The new one's attached, now we gotta bring them both back together. Time is up and both divers rush to sea level. One are over here, understand? Good job, Nick. Right on time, man. 36 seconds. Get him up and over. 